growth hormone and why it's important to build muscle. What's up everybody, it's that white boy from the yard and I'm back at it again with another video. Actually, I wanted to do a live stream video so followers could be asking questions in the meanwhile while I'm discussing this topic. Um, it didn't work out, the live stream didn't want to start uh, a whole lot of problems so I will record the video right now and I will release it as soon as possible. So I'm really sorry if, if guys would, would have been waiting or something. Growth hormone and why it's important to build muscle. I also will explain the SARM MK677 as well and my own experience. As a disclaimer, I'm not a doctor, I don't have any form of medical degree so whatsoever, I don't pretend to be a doctor. Don't listen to what I say, this is all my personal opinion and how I see things, okay? So today we are discussing the human growth hormone aka somatotropin um, and why it's important to build muscle uh, and the SARM that stimulates the natural production of the growth hormone levels. Well actually I could I could make it really hard but it's this simple guys the human growth hormone is most active when you were born and when like being a baby so that you are sleepy all the time you, you're always in need of food because your body simply just needs to grow okay after that it's probably like only when we're sleeping in the rapid eye movement sleep which should be around 22 to 25 percent in an average human being um, but when you hit puberty, it will spike up, you know, just as other important hormones and whatsoever. See, the human growth hormone is also one of the tiny factors like uh, the anabolic pathway uh, that you want to take care of. Growth hormone is a protein hormone actually of about 190 amino acids, which are all in control of psychological processes and growth and metabolisms. Um, so the indirect effect of growth hormone is that it increases IGF-1, which is an insulin-like growth factor, okay? And in my opinion, IGF-1 is the most important and strongest muscle building uh, one of all, you know? Uh, it stimulates the amino acid intake and protein synthesis in the muscle, so HGH stimulates the liver and other tissues to secrete the so-called uh, IGF-1. So HGH and muscle building almost can seem to go without each other. Um, that's one of the reasons I'm, you know, discussing this topic because a lot of people don't know about the uses of growth hormone and uh, where it's for and whatsoever. So yeah, growth hormone in bodybuilding actually it's a well-known drug used by pro bodybuilders and. It's mostly in injectables and uh, combined with other steroids and insulin, uh, which would be the most top three that they will use, which is like insulin, growth hormone, and something anabolic. But now the increase in bone size and other functional organs. I mean, the ring claims that human growth hormone would give you like a bubble gut. I mean, uh, so-called Palumboism. I mean, it's named after Dave Palumbo. We all know him. Uh, which was known for his extraordinary bloated belly. Um, now this is something specifically caused by the uses of HDH. It could have been a combination with all the other sorts of performance enhancing drugs or just like overeating and stretching out the stomach or how growth hormone could actually be a health benefit if you wouldn't even be a bodybuilder or whatsoever. I mean, the higher your HGA levels, the quality of sleep and so life gets better in my opinion. As well, does it increase appetite and speeds up metabolism? This way, it will help you burn fat easier and well, of course, it boosts protein synthesis, like I said. Now, the question would be how to increase growth hormone. Well, there actually are just a few options. You could inject human growth hormone. I'm not a big fan of this myself, but uh, you could supplement with melatonin, GABA, zinc, all, all these things for better sleep and better sleep also improves the... Uh, rapid eye movement sleep and uh, which improves uh, the growth hormone activity but you could take the SARM MK677 which is a growth hormone secretagogue and in my opinion this is this is actually better than just supplementing something that will act like your growth hormone you know I mean because it's a secretagogue it will trigger your body into making more growth hormone on its own so you're not using something else as growth hormone, you're just supplementing something that will make your own body produce more. So in my opinion, that's way healthier or way better, so you won't get any weird side effects from it. In my opinion, it's always way better to just let your body be able to make more of something instead of just making less at the end. Now, what I noticed myself is that MK677 is really potent and it works instant, guys, believe me. I mean, 
You could crave for food like within the first hour after eating a meal just like minutes ago. You could be hungry and craving for food like you're a little baby. As well, like I said, it increases uh, deep sleep, uh, the REM sleep, rapid eye movement sleep. Um, this is the time where the human growth hormone is mostly effective, like I said. And in an average healthy human, it should be around 20 to 25%, like I said. But while I was using MK677, it would go up because it never went, went above like 23%. But now it went up to 32%. So a lot of benefits, uh, better sleep. I can feel it, better quality or whatsoever. Now I keep track of my sleep every night, you know, because you don't really know how effective your sleep is. I mean, you wake up and you feel shitty. So did you have a shitty, shitty night? Um, probably not, but of course, and as well as the increase of hunger, like I said, I felt the metabolism going up like, uh, it needed more food, it needed more sleep, and I, I stepped on a scale and in the mirror, I could really, you know, see my body changing because uh, there was something extra active, you know. But at the end, I don't advise using this at all. Like I said in the disclaimer, guys, this is only for, uh, to inform you guys and entertain you guys and, and the gym rats and whatsoever. But this is a really important part of the anabolic pathway, uh, growth hormone, IGF-1, combine it with insulin levels and, and then something anabolic and maybe a myostatin inhibitor and a whole lot of things that will help you build muscle faster, help you build muscle healthier and be bigger and leaner than anybody else in the gym. Okay, that was it for today's video. Thanks a whole lot for watching again. Um, don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications to be the first one to see it. Um, I will promise you guys I will do a live stream video so you could give me some questions and whatsoever. but. It just didn't work out. I will fix it. Don't worry. Go out to Anabolic TV by Enhanced Athlete and subscribe there as well. Go to my Instagram, drop a follow. I got Facebook, Pinterest, whatever you name it. Whatever you name it, I got it. So um, thanks a whole lot for watching again. It's that white boy from the yard and I'm out.